So one of the key findings in this particular work was that parasites tag proteins on their surface with carbohydrates and that this process is really important for establishing infections in the mosquito and in humans. In the absence of this protein tagging process, the parasites were unable to survive in either host particularly well. Malaria is a huge problem for human health worldwide and afflicts some of the most disadvantaged countries in the world. Most of the study that we've been doing has focused on Plasmodium falciparum, which is the most lethal form of malaria and kills most people each year. So let me explain a little more. Here is a malaria parasite whose surface we've labelled in red. This parasite can tag its proteins with carbohydrates and traffic them to the surface of the parasite where they play an important role during infection of the human host. But on the other hand, here is a malaria parasite that cannot tag its proteins with carbohydrates. As you can see, the protein is trapped inside the parasite and is being degraded within the cell. This stops the parasite from being able to infect the human liver. The current RTSS vaccine is based on a malaria protein that completely coats the surface of the parasite that we know induces really strong immune responses in infected people. However, the vaccine doesn't incorporate carbohydrates and hasn't been as effective as we had hoped. By incorporating carbohydrates into a new version of the vaccine, it's hoped that we can better mimic the natural malaria infection in the hope that the people who are vaccinated will be able to respond when the parasite actually infects them.